My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. So you write something down. The first thing that we are going to check as a church in our quest to increase extremely is to help to trust God to help us with our thinking pattern our thought our thought life our thought life it's very important to know that God gave us the Bible so that we will know what to think Listen, many of us if we are encouraged to study the Bible or to read the Bible or to pursue the Word of God sometimes we struggle to understand why such obligation is being placed on us but you see the Bible has been given us or the Word of God has been given us to know what to think about who God is number two about the devil about the world and about yourself these are the reason why god gave you his word god has spoken about himself so that it can govern the way you think about him because as a man thinketh, so is he you can never be different from what you are thinking now what you think about this year is what you will become there is no miracle that defies the law of your thinking pattern nothing every miracle that will happen to you will consult the way you think before it happens so if god wants to give you money he will not go beyond your thinking your ability what you have been thinking about that you will ever receive that is the confinement that you are going to receive that is why the uh, am i here with the church at all I want you to get this very well before I touch the main stuff. There are some of us thinking that oh, what will happen should will happen. It doesn't work. Everything that will ever manifest, your inner man's eye must see. And you begin to meditate on it. That is why God told Joshua that meditate on this thing day and night. Then you will have a good success. And you will prosper it is by meditation that the things that you are thinking about becomes flesh and manifestations in your life this year i pray your thinking pattern will change and your life will change the bible says that as a man thinketh, listen you are in the highway of disaster if your mind is not good that is why the bible says jesus came and started saying repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. For the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. The Greek meaning of repent means change your mind. Because there is a kingdom coming. Its influence cannot manifest in your life until you are thinking alongside the way it operates. Some of us think that the kingdom will come and whatever I am, the kingdom will begin to have influence on me. It doesn't work. Jesus said change your mind to meet the oppression of the kingdom it will be an imbalance equation if the kingdom comes and you are thinking other things you should have a way to marry the kingdom and the way you think from today may the lord deliver us from every mindset i said may the lord deliver us from every mindset in the name of the lord jesus yes it is there so god has carefully inscripted his bible his word so that if it comes to him we know who he is He's a God of justice. What you do in secret and in public, he will judge you. He has written it. So that you will find a way to think around it. And then it will affect your action. That is who he is. He showed us the greatest love is there. 
He has told you something about the devil. Anything that you think differently from what God has told you is what will bring consequences that is not in alignment with God's will for your life. So many of us are suffering things that we go to God. God, deliver me. And God said, I've already delivered you. How did you deliver me? I gave you the truth. You shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. That is how it works. And many of us, it will take us a long time to see a change in our physical life because we are not connecting to what must transform our lives. That is our mindset. Mindset. How have you set your mind to meet manifestations of God's workings? How have you set your mind? Do you know that God consults your mind before he does anything for you? That is why sometimes he gives you dreams. He gives you scriptures. He gives you that. Jesus said that ye do err. But say, my young from so ye do err. Because you do not know the scriptures. So you are making mistakes that is affecting your destiny. Because you don't know the scriptures. These things must scare you. Stop talking about Every time you know me, I lead you in prayers against demonic forces and all that. But there is a place for demonic forces. God has spoken about it. There is a place where your own self can bring you challenges. God has spoken about it. There is a place where the world is fashioned, the way it operates, can bring you challenges. God has said about it. Love not the world. He has said it. He said the world and its last passed away. He has said it. He has told you things that you must know. So that you govern your mindset. And your mind also governs your actions. Am I talking to a church here at all? You see, when, when you ask God right now, he will tell you that the devil is judged. It's as simple as that. So all that the devil is doing now is to deceive you to fall into distraction that he wants from you. He is already judged. Power is taken away from him. The keys of hell and death is no more in his hands. A believer must know. If you don't know it, you fall prey to the workings of Satan. It's as simple as that. So you can be shouting with us, my year is, is, is going to be increasing extremely. But do you know? Do you know what is there for you? These are things that we must begin to analyze so that we will give ourselves that place of consistent victory upon victory. Are you ready to go into this journey? To go consistently after consistent victory. This is how we live our lives. If you're going to tell you, show me your secret. The secret has been written. It's there. It's there. This Christian experience and our victories is an open secret. It's there. Everybody knows. But you have not decided to dig into it and to have your own private understanding into what God has said. That is why you may be the same for a long time. Nobody can help you. We'll pour oil on you. We'll lay hands on you. We will, you will buy five keys to that, six keys to that. But there are secrets that has been openly given from God's word. And the first of it is our mindset. Proverbs chapter 4, verse number 23. NLT. Let's quickly go through this. So we can all start reading it quickly if you have it on the screen. Want to go? Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Can you shout it again? One to go. Guard your heart above all else. For it determines the course of your life. Can you imagine that? Guard your life above everything you are guarding. I believe that you have plans to preserve your car, preserve your house, preserve your family, preserve your, your husband, preserve your wife, preserve your children, preserve your education, preserve that, even your ministry, preserve it. But the Bible says that above everything you seek to preserve, guard your heart. Protect it. Know the inflows and the outflows of your heart. 
be specific of what is imprinted in your heart be specific of what you receive into your heart and out of your heart he said for it determines the course of your life which is don't determine the course of your life it is your heart but what they do is that they do things to affect your heart then your heart determines the course so they know how to corrupt your heart they know how to corrupt your thinking pattern that is why the devil is not trying to destroy your life no he's trying to deform the world and the world deforms your thinking pattern and your thinking pattern determines your action and your action determines your feeling it's as simple as that so he said guard it guard it did you watch pornography before coming you are allowing something inside that will soon affect the course of your life what you are reading what you are listening to what you are exposing your eyes your ears and your receptiveness to the bible said very soon it will become the steer of your life whenever i see somebody experiencing consistent growth and blessing i know that the person is getting something right in the mind the person is getting it the person is getting it and you see stagnancy for a long time you know that this person is refusing to change his or her mind the most this I, one of the most difficult human beings to lead as a pastor is somebody who has determined not to change his mind because there will be no progress in the person's life and at the end of the day it comes to affect that the pastor is not powerful why because we expect that miracles happen in vacuum it doesn't god will always change trigger something in the way you think and that thing will trigger an action and the action begins to trigger one sources after the other he said that guard this heart guard it for that determines the cause the cause so this year will you be blessed your heart will determine the failure you experienced last year will you experience again the heart will determine he said so you guard them you protect it then he's showing us how to guard this precious heart of ours can we continue verse 24 avoid all perverse what avoid it avoid all perverse talk stay away from corrupt speech avoid it corrupt talk avoid it it has a way of affecting the course of your mind he said avoid some of us must get to a point that when what you are hearing will not help you put that radio off i'll be very practical i'll not be mystical today very practical with us because when i don't take care you will walk through a stream a stream increase a stream increase and you end up the same there is an agenda of god for us he's saying that avoid it every perverse talk and stay away from corrupt speech this is how we protect our heart that has the power to direct our course and yet as a bian it you and yet you'll be a catch you'll be an effort people talk us into distraction the bible says he that was with the foolish will be foolish why because the things that you'll be you see naturally we have been accustomed to like people who tell us who we are is good so whatever we are doing Oh, it's good. You don't want to ask who you're young, Jewani. Enjoy life. And when you are smoking, enjoy life. When you are drinking your life into kidney failure, enjoy life. Everything you have to enjoy life. That's all that you keep on saying. And sometimes our flesh is inclined to say things. Whether they are corrupt things or not, our flesh is inclined to it. And we keep on enjoying. We keep on enjoying until disaster and destruction hits us. He said that avoid anything that is corrupt in speech avoid it some of you don't know the danger of what wrong words can do the bible says that for life and death 
lies in the power of the tongue. So somebody can speak you into death. You can speak your own self into death. You can speak your own future into poverty. You can speak your own year into failure. Many of us, many of us confirmed our failure yesterday. By most of the things that we started saying, we confirmed it. You began a new year and you began it by speaking failures. And me yari idea. Me bray idea. Ah! Diabani na sasha se urati mafia se. These are things we do all subconsciously. We don't get it. We don't understand. We keep on saying such things, thinking about those things. The Bible said that anything that is corrupt, withdraw because it has power to affect the course of your life. One time Jesus told them, he said that you'll be judged by every idle word that comes out of your mouth. Do you know why? Because every idle word will affect your life negatively and God will ask you, why your life turned this way and then he would judge you that it was by a certain word you spoke that was not consistent with my word from today may god fill your mouth with the right words i said may god fill our mouth with the right words in the name of the lord jesus listen to me it doesn't matter the situation you are going to don't confirm it with your mouth don't don't let even the weak the bible says say that i am strong don't confirm every word you speak is a signature to your situation every word that comes out of your mouth when people are shouting ghana is hard don't confirm it because you can be in egypt but light will be in goshen so you don't confirm people's situation there is a god Though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, there is a God that if you don't fear anything, he will help you. There's a God. David is in a cave that Saul has almost gotten there to grab him. David said, I will live and not die to declare the wonders of the Lord. There are people who are very strong, but they are talking their lives to death. And there are those who are in hospital bed at intensive care talking their lives into life. And give them six months. The one walking about will die. The one in the intensive room will come out. Life is governed by your words. Your words. So Proverbs chapter 6, it says that do not ensnare yourself with your words. Every word you speak is a trap. I better trap myself in prosperity. I said I better trust myself in favor. Somebody said I am blessed and favored. And trap yourself in favor. The Bible said it. It's not a human being. He said that you have to, you have to agree. God catch yourself out in your own word. Listen to me. It doesn't matter what is going to happen. You have come here. I don't care who prophesied to you. I don't care the dream you had. I don't care what you are thinking. I want to speak life over you. This year you will extremely increase. I said this year you will be favored. This year you will be blessed. Listen to me. Anytime doubt comes, say Pastor Elvis says I'm blessed. Listen, who speaks to you matter? He said that we avoid coral speech. I've not come here to give you coral speech. I've come here to tell you that you will escape accident. You will escape premature death. You will escape on fruitfulness. You will escape on productivity. In the name of the Lord Jesus, shout I am productive and I am blessed in the year 2022. I am increasing extremely. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Allow your words to build you. There are some of you, the only, you are just waiting for people to encourage you. The prodigal child says, I will, I, 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 the Bible says, and he said to himself, he said to himself, what will you be saying to yourself this year? The young boy went through frustration, went through difficult times, was eating with pigs, was in a very deadly situation until the Bible said, he said to himself, something he knows about his father. He said it to himself. What do you know about God? Say it to yourself. What do you know? 
about his kindness say to yourself when life becomes challenging and it becomes all dark what do you know about jesus say to yourself when you get to a point and you don't have what to eat what do you know about jesus he said take no thought of yourself what you eat or what you drink and what you wear for your father knows that you need these things but if you seek first the kingdom all other things shall be added when they get to the difficult point in life say to yourself let the redeem of the lord say so i hope you enjoyed this video and i believe that you were blessed if um, you were blessed by this video make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend and also make sure that you like the video so that youtube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message if you have any question please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you and also if you are watching this video and you don't know jesus christ ask the lord and personal savior i want you to make that decision just contact us in the description call us and let us lead you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And lastly, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon. Turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded, you can be notified. Thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section. Bye.